First morning in Antananarivo. Slowly making our way outside the capital as we head east to the Palmarium Reserve. And what you just saw right there, that's um, it's one of their buses. It's a taxi B. Big taxi. And they leave the door open with a strap and that's how people get on. It doesn't really stop. You kind of run and jump on. So, yeah, a little smoggy here, which would be an understatement. But still, very interesting. It's um, 6.25 in the morning right now. Quite active. And as you can see, they're very agile. <laughs> That's Luke, he's going to be with us the entire time. And my little guy. Alright, oh, we just missed another flyover with the door. And so for, for 10 cents you get to drive the Taxi B, which is what these are called. And this one is a little on the full side, full size. And what's particularly amazing is the um, Roads that are in, actually, this is a smooth stretch we're on, which is unusual, but uh, that they still hang on. I mean, you talk about an agile people, this is them right, right here. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of what the roads are like over here, and I give Luke a lot of credit, I would never have the patience for. Oh, we got a smooth stretch here. I would never have the patience to constantly... I mean, you average probably about 20 miles an hour on these roads. Now, you, now I understand why it takes so long to get from point A to point B. Oh, look, another smooth stretch. <clears throat> but for the most part, you don't go very far without hitting potholes left and right. A little pit stop pit stop when we passed through that last little village we ran over a kid's toy 
and the kids' toy. Cause it to get a flat. So, our man Luke's on it. Gives us a chance to stretch our legs. Say hello to the locals. Hello. So probably about halfway to, maybe a little more than halfway to Amatavi, where we catch the boat to go down to the Palmarium Reserve. Fortunately, it's a beautiful day. I feel bad for Luke, but he knows what he's doing. So apparently it's market day in this little town. Sorry? So everybody is out yes. shopping. Some, uh, some very people busy. coming from another village comes here. Okay. <laughs> he didn't see it with that big grass bear. <laughs> so we um, we stopped for lunch. I don't know how far we are from uh, Tamatavi, the port that we're going to catch our boat down to uh, the Palmarium Reserve for our three-day visit with the lemurs. So we stopped at uh, this restaurant here in, I don't know what the name of this town is, probably about 70 degrees, but uh, it's been a nice ride. People are very friendly. And we stopped at this Chinese slash Malagasy restaurant where we're playing safe and just doing kind of like American style food. So, we'll see how it tastes. So we just picked up the coxswain, and we've got about six kilometers left to go before we reach the boat. Just the final stretch, and then you said it's you said it's 45 minutes on the boat? You don't sound too confident. <laughs> So 45 minutes or one hour here, and yeah. one hour on the boat. Oh, 45 minutes on here? Here, or, oh. or, or one hour. Or one hour. Or one hour. Yes. I don't For the board, he said it's one hour. Okay. But okay. It's, it's not a small boat, not a big one, it's a middle one. A middle one. Yeah. Okay, well that's good because we're big people. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we'll be there in time for dinner. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. The boat. Bye. See you on Sunday. You're leaving Sunday. us? On Sunday. Why oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you leave me here? Is <laughs> Who's? This guy? Yeah. He's supposed to be uh, driving the boat. No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe he's the captain. <laughs> or first mate. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Bye, Luke. And what's your name? Elise. Elise? Yeah. We just call you captain, okay? Ah. Captain. Oh, no, I thought, I thought you were going to drive. No, uh, no. So what do you do? Yeah. Uh, I'm the receptionist. Oh, okay. With me that you went the mail.
nice big beach, huh? Yeah. Awesome.